Field residents sharing their thoughts and concerns on one of the most quickly developing areas of town, Galloway Township. Yes, they are. Businesses and apartments have been popping up over the last few months along Lone Pine, much to the chagrin of many homeowners in that area. And tonight, our Jesse Inman heard from people on that issue. Jesse, what they have to say? Well, guys, last fall, some residents were up in arms about the overdevelopment in the area, which is centered around the beauty of nature. But before development continued, the city put a 270 day delay on more rezoning so they could get public input like they did tonight. On the east side of Springfield, one of the most popular places to enjoy a beautiful day is Sequiota Park. But recently, the surrounding area has gotten a makeover, causing a clash between developers and residents. Springfield senior planner Olivia Huff says the city wants to make sure they can find common ground. The city is kind of acting as a mediator, trying to get a lot of public engagement and try to come up with some good solutions um, as we move forward. What development fits into the area and is sensitive to the surroundings. We have lots of information boards for people to look at. We've got lots of data and maps. It's not that we don't want development, it's that we don't want too much development and too much of one kind. Wendy Hoosier of the Galloway Village Neighborhood Association says once apartments started popping up seemingly overnight, neighbors began to see issues that could arise if things kept trending that way. We've had complaints about things and how it's too congested. It's just claustrophobic. The airy, um, relaxed feel of Galloway was going away. She says traffic has already become an issue. The neighbors do not like the median. They do not like the on-street parking that has come from the development. Um, it's very dangerous for us. But Hoosier points out that their main concern from the start was and still is a potential four story apartment across from Sequiota. What's there is there. We just don't need more apartments and we don't need them across from Sequiota Park. For some reason, I feel like the focus is being turned on like we're against all of the apartments down the street. As for what is down the street, Matt Wagner with Green Circle Projects says they're trying to keep people's concerns in mind as they work on the quarry town development. We're down there for all the same reasons people love that area and um, we want to do our best to uh, highlight those and uh, make sure that they're taken care of. Now, the Neighborhood Association says it hasn't really been smooth working with their city councilman, Matt Simpson, but I talked to Simpson tonight and he told me that he wants to make sure all parties are able to come to, uh, to a compromise through these type of meetings and they'll hold another one in May. And you can also take a survey regarding these projects on the city's website.